guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today I'm bringing you a deck review of the Sorcerer's Tarot. So this was something that I saw on Amazon, um, then I went on Google <laughs> to look up all the images and um, kind of see what this deck was all about. I had never really seen um, this deck around, so um, I thought I would give it a shot, and it is a Los Garabeo deck. Um, so let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, so I'm going to set the cards off to the side so we can take a look at the guidebook. And those are just our title cards there. Okay, so here's our quote unquote little white book. <laughs> so this is the Sorcerer's Tarot. Um, and it gives you a little bit of background on of what that means um, and how things have changed a little bit. So we have the knave, uh, the queen, king, and knight. And I will say that this deck is a little bit different. It doesn't really follow the um, Rider Waite Smith. I mean, it kind of in a couple of cards or a few cards, but it's kind of its own thing. So I would definitely say if you do get this deck, like kind of look through this guidebook a little bit. And, um, and the meanings and things like that. So we have chalice and pentacles. Swords. Okay, and then of course it goes into all their other languages, as is the case with Los Carabio decks. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Um, of course it always comes with their title cards. And let's actually take a look at the card stock. So I'm going to put this card back in here. So here are the backs of the cards. So we have this kind of like Merlin looking dude with the snake eating its tail. So it's reversible as you can see. Um, it has a slight sheen to it. Um, but I wouldn't consider this glossy. Nor would I consider this like highly matty. Okay. It is your standard um, tarot size and cardstock is pretty usual for, for Los Gerobiel. So it's kind of got that coating on it so you know your cards are protected, which is why I knew that taking them outside today would be okay because they'd be protected. Okay. So let's put this away and let's go ahead and get to our deck. And sorry, I got the band-aid in the picture here. <laughs> um, we had a track meet the other day and um, I actually cut myself on the tape measure because you have to measure every time the bar goes up in high jump um, just to make sure that it's at the correct height. And my tape measure is getting kind of funky because it's old and I accidentally cut myself with the metal of the tape measure, so that kind of sucks. But I love... Um, I love the artwork. The artwork is very Art Nouveau. Let me see if I can find the artist. So, um, the artwork, or sorry, the graphics are Pietro Allegro. Antonella Castelli, yes. Okay, so uh, yeah, I, I have um, I have some of her other artwork, so that's why it feels reminiscent of that Art Nouveau style, because that is her style. So as you can see with the images, it's like it's kind of right away Smith. And by the way, there's no words anywhere. And some of the major arcana are a little harder to figure out unless you really know your major arcana uh, numbers. And there is some nudity, by the way. So if you are offended by nudity, perhaps this deck is not for you, but I think it's done in a very tasteful style. I love that one. It's very Art Nouveau. It's very romantic. It's I love the runes. Um, I don't know. I use it um, 
kind of like a tarot deck. Like to me, this is like mixture of tarot and oracle. Um, just because I like really reading into the images um, and I can't really sometimes connect that Rider Waite Smith meaning to them. Um, so that's kind of why I like this deck. It's, it's very unique, it's different. And I like stretching my intuition and being able to like sometimes get something different, a different perspective. Uh, that's kind of why I have a lot of decks too. To me, um, depending on the artist, there can be a different perspective. Um, the artwork can give you totally different feel uh, for what's going on. Um, and like I've always said before, I love the artwork. And this video is by no means saying, hey, you need to go purchase this deck or you need to have lots of decks. Um, I really like the artwork. So I'm putting this out there so you can enjoy the artwork too. That's Head of Swords. I'm just like, no, you jerk. Like, why are you going to kill that? Poor girl. get into the feeling of a lot of these cards though. Building a relationship with yourself. Okay. So let me go ahead and give this a shuffle. A lot of people like to see how things shuffle and for some people it's just kind of an ASMR thing. I like the sound of shuffling cards. Okay. Let me lay out three cards, not posing a question or anything, um, just so you can see aesthetically how this might look. There you go. Let's get these all straightened here. All right, so that is it. That is our kind of flip through of the Sorcerer's Tarot. Let me know if you guys have this deck and how do you use it? I'm very curious because, you know, for me, like I said, I use it more kind of tarot slash oracle, but I'd be very fascinated to see and hear like how, how you guys are using it. What types of readings do you guys use this for? Like for me, this is just a personal deck. I, I don't use this for any client readings, but you know, um, like I said, I definitely want to hear from you guys. So... Uh, leave that in the comment section below. If you have questions for me regarding this deck, leave that in the comment section below as well. If you want this deck used um, when you get a reading with me, um, definitely no let me know upon booking. Uh, head over to www.kittensweightsandtarot.com to book a reading with me, or you can head over to my Etsy shop. Um, but you know, my website will also take you to my Etsy shop as well. Um, both of those links are down below, etsy.com slash kittensweightstarot. And head over to patreon.com to join the KWT tribe where right now we are creating the Oracle, my first Oracle deck. Um, and this is going to be a community based Oracle. So I'm looking for photographs of your guys' sacred spaces um, so that we can put this together. I think it's going to be a really awesome, fun thing for us all to do and create as one. So head over to patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot um, to hop on board with that. Or if you just want to donate a picture um, for the Oracle deck, you can head over to my website, um, click on the uh, main menu where it says Oracle deck, and it'll give you all the deets for that. So if you guys dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And I'll catch you spiritual homies later. All right. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.